Our hymn this morning will be 352, 352. Lord, open our lips. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, it is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Christ is the Son of Mary. Come, let us adore him. Come, ring out our joy to the Lord. Hail the God who saves us. Let us come before him, giving thanks. With songs, let us hail the Lord. Christ is the Son of Mary. Come, let us adore him. A mighty God is the Lord, the great King above all gods. In his hand are the depths of the earth, the heights of the mountains are his. To him belongs the sea, for he made it, and the dry land shed by his hands. Christ is the Son of Mary. Come, let us adore him. Come in, let us bow and bend low. Let us kneel before the God who made us. For he is our God, and we the people who belong to his pasture, the flock that is led by his hand. Christ is the Son of Mary, come let us adore him. Oh, that today you would listen to his voice, had it not your heart as at Mary, as on that day at Massa in the desert, when your fathers put me to the test, when they tried me, though they saw my life. Christ is the Son of Mary, come let us adore him. For forty years I was wearied of these people, and I said, Their hearts are astray. These people do not know my ways. Then I took an oath in my anger, Never shall they enter my rest. Christ is the Son of Mary. Come, come and let us adore him. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Christ, Christ is the Son of Mary. Come, let us adore him. 352. Hail Mary, our icon of trust in God's word. In faith you conceived, and God's life in you stirred. O woman of wisdom, now show us the way. Let our hearts be open to God day by day. Hail, Mother of Jesus, of all mothers blessed. To you joyful praises and prayers are addressed. The saints and the angels your glory proclaim. The faithful in confidence call on your name. We pray you, O woman of all women blessed, to care for the homeless, the poor and the oppressed. Be with us, your people, in joy and in pain. Be near us to cheer us till heaven we gain. To God, your creator, glad hymns with us raise. To Jesus, your Son, and the Spirit, give praise. And the, pray for the churches, that all may be one. On earth as in heaven, may God's will be done. <clears throat> Blessed are you, Mary. The salvation of the world came from you. Now you rejoice in glory in the presence of the Lord. Intercede for us with your Son. O oh God, you are my God, for you I long. For you my soul is thirsting. My body pines for you like a dry, weary land without water. So I gaze on you in the sanctuary to see your strength and your glory. Your Lord is better than life. I live to speak your praise. So I bless you all my life. In your name I lift up my hands. My soul shall be filled with the banquet. My mouth shall praise you with joy. On my bed I remember you. On you I muse through the night. For you have been my help. In the shadow of your wings I rejoice. My soul clings to you. Your right hand holds me fast. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Blessed are you, Mary, the salvation of the world came from you. Now you rejoice in the glory of the presence of the Lord. Intercede for us with your Son. You are the glory of Jerusalem. You are the joy of Israel. You are the highest honor of our race. 
O all you works of the Lord, O bless the Lord. To him be highest glory and praise forever. And you angels of the Lord, O bless the Lord. To him be highest glories and praise forever. And you the heavens of the Lord, O bless the Lord. And you clouds of the sky, O bless the Lord. And you all armies of the Lord, O bless the Lord. To him be highest glory and praise forever. And you sun and moon, O bless the Lord. And you the stars of the heavens, O bless the Lord. And you showers and rain, O bless the Lord. To him be highest glory and praise forever. And you all your breezes and winds, O bless the Lord. And you fire and heat, O bless the Lord. And you cold and heat, O bless the Lord. To him be highest glory and praise forever. And you showers and dew, O bless the Lord. And you frosts and cold, O bless the Lord. And you frost and snow, O bless the Lord. To him be highest glory and praise forever. And you night time and day, O bless the Lord. And you darkness and light, O bless the Lord. And you lightning and clouds, O bless the Lord. To him be highest glory and praise forever. O let the earth bless the Lord. To him be highest glory and praise forever. And you mountains and hills, O bless the Lord. And your plants of the earth will bless the Lord. And your fountains and springs will bless the Lord. To him be highest glory and praise forever. And you rivers and seas, O oh bless the Lord. And you creatures of the sea, O oh bless the Lord. And you every bird in the sky, O oh bless the Lord. And you wild beasts and tame, O oh bless the Lord. To him be highest glory and praise forever. And you children of men, O oh bless the Lord. To him be highest glory and praise forever. O Israel, bless the Lord, O bless the Lord. And you priests of the Lord, O bless the Lord. And you servants of the Lord, O bless the Lord. To him be highest glory and praise forever. And you spirits and souls of the just, O bless the Lord. And you holy and noble of heart, O bless the Lord. Ananias, Azarias, Misael, O bless the Lord. To him be highest glory and praise forever. Let us praise the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. To you be highest glory and praise forever. May you be blessed, O Lord, in the heavens. To you be highest glory and praise forever. You are, you the, are the glory of Jerusalem. Jerusalem. You, you are, are the joy of Israel. You are the highest honor of our race. Rejoice always, Virgin Mary. You were found to bear Christ the Savior. Sing a new song to the Lord, his praise in the assembly of the faithful. Let Israel rejoice in its maker. Let Zion's sons exult in their king. Let them praise his name with dancing and make music with timbrel and harp. For the Lord takes delight in his people. He crowns a poor with salvation. Let the faithful rejoice in their glory. Shout for joy and take their rest. Let the praise of God be on their lips, and a two-edged sword in their hand. To deal out vengeance to the nation, and punishment on all the peoples. To bind their kings in chains, and their nobles in fetters of iron. To carry out the sentence preordained. This honor is for all his faithful. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Rejoice always, Virgin Mary. You are, you are found, found to bear Christ the Savior. Savior. A reading from the prophet Isaiah. I will greatly rejoice in the Lord. My soul shall exult in my God, for he has clothed me with the garments of salvation. He has covered me with the robe of righteousness, as a bride adorns herself with her jewels. The Lord chose her. He chose her before she was born. The Lord chose her. He chose her before she was born. He made her live in his own dwelling place. The Lord chose her. He chose her before she was born. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The Lord chose her. He chose her before she was born. The door of paradise was closed to all mankind. 
because of the sin of Eve. It has been opened again by the Virgin Mary. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has visited his people and redeemed them. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior in the house of David his servant, as he promised by the lips of holy men, those who were his prophets from of old. A Savior who would free us from our foes, from the hands of all who hate us, so his love for our fathers is fulfilled and his holy covenant remembered. He swore to Abraham our father to grant us a free from fear and safe from the hands of our foes. We might serve him in holiness and justice all the days of our life in his presence. As for you, little child, you shall be called a prophet of God the Most High. You shall go ahead of the Lord to prepare his ways before him. To make known to his people their salvation, through forgiveness of all their sins, the loving kindness of the heart of our God, who visits us like the dawn on high. He will give light to those in darkness, those who dwell in the shadow of death, and guide us into the way of peace. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The door, door of paradise was closed to mankind because of the sin of Eve. It has been opened again by the Virgin Mary. Let us proclaim the greatness of our Saviour, who chose to be born of the Virgin Mary. Confident he will hear us, we ask. Lord, may your mother pray for us. Son of justice, you showed your day was dawning in the Immaculate Virgin Mary. Help us to walk in the daylight of your presence. Lord, may our mother pray for us. Eternal word, in the flesh, living flesh of Mary, you found a dwelling place on earth. Remain with us forever in hearts free from sin. Lord, may our mother pray for us. Christ our Savior, you willed that your mother should be there when you died. Through her intercession, may we rejoice to share your suffering. Lord, may your mother pray for us. Loving Saviour, while hanging on the cross, you gave your mother Mary to be the mother of John. Let us be known as her children by our way of living. Lord, may your mother pray for us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Grant us, Lord, we pray, the joy of continued health of mind and body, and through the intercession of Blessed Mary ever Virgin, free us of this present sadness, fill us with eternal joy. We make our prayer through our Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. May the Lord bless us, keep us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good morning, everybody. The intention of the Mass is for the people of Pakistan, and we celebrate the memorial of Our Lady of Walsingham. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. 
the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. <laughs> Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have done, through my faults, through my faults, through my most grievous faults. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, the Virgin, all the angels who saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Grant we pray, Almighty God, that as in the mystery of the Incarnation, the Blessed and Ever-Virgin Mary conceived your Son in her heart before she conceived him in the womb, so we, your pilgrim people, rejoicing in her motherly care, may welcome him into our hearts and become a holy house fit for his eternal dwelling, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Galatians. When the appointed time came, God sent his son, born of a woman, subject, born a subject of the law, to redeem the subject of the law and to enable us to be adopted as sons. The proof that you are the sons is God has sent the spirit of his son into our heart. The spirit that cries, Abba, Father, and it is his that makes you a son. You are not a slave anymore. And if God has made you a son, then he has made you heir. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Almighty works marvels for me. Holy is his name. The Almighty works marvels for me. Holy is his name. My soul glorifies the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Saviour. The Almighty works marvels for me, holy, holy is his name. name. He looks on his servant in their nothingness. Henceforth all ages will call me blessed. The, the Almighty, Almighty works marvels for me, holy, holy is his name. The Almighty works marvels for me, holy is his name. His mercy is from age to age on those who fear him. He puts forth his arm in strength and scatters the proud hearted. The Almighty works marvels for me, holy is his name. He casts the mighty from their thrones and raises the lowly. He fills the starving with good things, sends the rich away empty. The Almighty works marvels for me, holy is his name. He protects Israel his servant, remembering his mercy, the mercy promised to our fathers, to Abraham and his sons forever. The Almighty works marvels for me, Holy is his name. The gospel acclamation. Alleluia, alleluia. Blessed is the Virgin Mary who treasured the word of God and pondered it in her heart. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Near the cross of Jesus stood his mother and his mother's sister Mary, the wife of Cleopas and Mary of Magdala. Seeing his mother and the disciple he loved standing near her, Jesus said to his mother, Woman, this is your son. Then to the disciple he said, This is your mother. And from that moment the disciple made a place for her in his home. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise 
Today we celebrate the shrine of Our Lady of Walsingham, one of the great pilgrimage centers of medieval times. The Lady of the Manor of Walsingham, Richelieu de Ferverge, was instructed by a vision of the Virgin Mary to build in her village an exact replica of the house in Nazareth in which the Annunciation had taken place. The vision occurred according to tradition in 1061. The original house was destroyed at the Reformation, but during the 19th and early 20th centuries, pilgrimage to Walsingham was revived, both for Anglicans and for Catholics. The Gospel tells us that at the foot of the cross, at the supreme hour of the new creation, Christ led us to Mary. He brought us to her because he did not want us to journey without a mother. And our people read in this maternal image all the mysteries of the gospel. Mary, who brought him into the world with a great faith, also accompanies the rest of her offsprings, those who keep the commandments of God and bear testimony to Jesus. Let us pray. Lord, grant us the blessing of a disciple's ear and a listening heart, which, like Mary, treasures and ponders your word. Lord, hear us. We ask Our Lady to intercede for us as we pray. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this now, night and of our death. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness you have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Yes. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness you have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Amen. Receive, O oh Lord, we ask the prayers of your people with the sacrificial offerings, that through the intercession of Blessed Mary, the mother of your Son, no petition may go unanswered, no request be made in vain, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Amen. 
It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation to praise your mighty deeds in the exaltation of all the saints, and especially as we celebrate the memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, to proclaim your kindness as we echo our thankful hymn of praise. For truly, even to its ends, you have done great things and extended your abundant mercy from age to age. When you looked on the lowliness of your handmaid, you gave us through her the author of our salvation, your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices we pray join with theirs in one chorus of exalt and praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, full of your glory, O Son in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore this gift, we pray, by sending thy spirit upon them like the dew falls, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together, Francis, our Pope, and Martha, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, who blessed Joseph as spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints have pleased you throughout the ages, who may merit to request you eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses. Forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as you await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant your peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Lamb of God, you take your the sins of the world.
Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. As we receive the heavenly sacraments, we beseech, O Lord, your mercy, that we who rejoice in commemorating the Blessed Virgin Mary may, by imitating her, serve worthily the mystery of our redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. The Mass is ended. Dear sisters and brothers, we have come before our mother of perpetual help to praise God our Father with Mary and to thank him for the blessings he has given us through our intercession. Let us once more ask her to pray for us. Remember our most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known, that anyone who fled to your protection, implored your help or sought your intercession, was left unaided, inspired with this comfort. Fly unto you, o Virgin of Virgins, my mother. To you I come, before you I stand, sinful and sorrowful, O Mother of the Word incarnate. Despise not my petitions. Bet in your mercy, hear and answer me. Amen. That we may be faithful to prayer every day of our lives. That we may carry out faithfully the duties of our state of life that we may have courage to face up to all our difficulties, that we may quickly return to Christ should we fall into serious sin, in misunderstandings with those we love, in times of sickness in the home, in worries about financial matters, that we and our young people may find our true vocation in life. That all may respect all human life and avoid the dangers of drugs and alcohol. That those who rule our country may act wisely, justly, and for the good of all. That we may see our daily work as a service to our neighbor that the economy of our nation may improve and the dignity of human labor be restored to those who feel rejected, redundant, or unemployed. That we may be tolerant and charitable towards those who do not share our views. That all who suffer in mind or body may be comforted and if it is your will, restored to health. That our Holy Father Pope Francis may have light and guidance in ruling the church. Amen. That all people may live in peace and unity. Amen. That our diseased relatives and friends may have eternal <coughs> rest. Amen. For the intentions of all who are making the novena. Amen. And for our personal intentions. Mother of perpetual help, with the greatest confidence, we come before you to be inspired by the example of your life. We think of you at that moment when full of faith and trust, you accepted God's call to be the mother of his son. Help us, your children, to accept with joy our own calling in life. When you learned that your cousin Elizabeth was in need, you immediately went to serve her and offer your help. Help us like you to be concerned for others. We think of you, Mother, at the foot of the cross. Your heart was a bled to see your son in agony, but your joy was great when he rose from the dead, the victorious over the powers of evil. Mother of sorrows, help us to realize that we must expect trials and disappointments. Help us not to lose heart. May we share with your son 
the joy of having courageously faced up to all the challenges of life. Amen. Let us pray. Lord God, it is your will that we come together today to honor Mary as a mother, ever ready to help us. May we who implore her motherly help benefit by the great gift of salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. You have given your people bread from heaven. Bread is full of all goodness. Let us pray. O God, who in this wonderful sacrament have left us a memorial of your passion, grant us, we pray, so to revere the sacred mysteries of your body and blood, that we may always experience in our lives the fruits of your redemption, who live and reign with God the Father in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. May Almighty God bless us, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving, be every moment thine. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving, be every moment thine. The divine praise is blessed be God. Blessed be his holy name. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be his most sacred heart. Blessed be his most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the Paraclete. Blessed be the Great Mother of God, Mary Most Holy. Blessed be our Holy and Immaculate Conception. Blessed be her Glorious Assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be Saint Joseph, our Spouse Most Chaste. Blessed be God in his angels and in his saints. 